Fugus101 here, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my uh, my own thumbnails for uh, YouTube. I'm going to show you how I make them on Photoshop, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Over here, these are the, the four that I've made so far. Um, I'll just show you. This I made for the Joker drawing video. And uh, these are all drawing uh, thumbnails. So these are all for my drawing videos. So that is the Jokers, as you can see. Um, for all of these, I want to keep the fonts that I use. Um, I want them to resemble the type of character. So as you can see for the Joker, he's got like, his font is kind of like a brushed, messy, brushed on type, like makeup or blood. And uh, he's got the red and the green colors going on. And then uh, right here, this is one that I already uploaded to YouTube. This is the first one that I already that I've ever made. This is uh, Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. He has kind of like a western type of font going on because he lives in like the countryside. So I kind of did that. And um, then we got Bane. Bane's is like. I think of Bane as like a military guy, so his is kind of like a military type font with some weathering going on in it. And then Two Faces is like a, a beat up, burnt looking type font with holes and stuff in it. And I used red and gray because it looked good. And the drawing, the word drawing, the, the I use the same font for that in every picture. So, in this video, I'm going to be making a thumbnail for my Wizard of Oz Horror Drawings video. So, I'll uh, open up Photoshop here. Hang on a second. So, let this open up. And, um, this is going to be similar to the other ones, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys how I do it. So first I go to File, New. And I have 1920 by 1080 for my width and height. And that's very important because that is the exact ratio of the, the thumbnails. And it's pixels. So I do that. And as you can see, you got this here. And what I do is view fit on screen. So it's a little bigger. And then I right click on the background, convert to smart object. And then right click again, oh, hang on, right click again and ras rasterize the layer so you can uh, you can draw on it and stuff. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and I have this opened up which is the scarecrow concept that I did and I'm just going to drag that into Photoshop. So you got that there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it to where I like it. Maybe widen it a little bit. And then I just move that over to one side. Like that. And then uh, press enter. It's got to load. I need to rasterize that too so I'll be able to use it and do stuff to it. And now what I do is, this is kind of the time consuming part. I go in, if you look at Two-Face here, I had to erase a lot of the, like as you can see this color over here was the same color next to his head over here. And I had to erase that all out to the outline so it would be white over here to give it a nice look and I had to do it a lot for Bane like completely around his entire head and the coat and the collar I had to do it but it's worth it because as you can see it ends out looking really professional and uh, really nice looking things with a white background look really good so uh, I go in here and I zoom in I go into the top of his hat and I grab my eraser and then I just go in there and I just erase out the color of the paper in the background. 
just like this. And I'm using my Awacom tablet because it's just, it's so great. <laughs> it makes things so much better in, if you're working with, oh, if you're working in Photoshop. But yeah, I just do that. So I will come back when this is completely finished. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've erased all the outline over here to a point where I'm happy with it. So, uh... Now what I do is I start adding the uh, the fonts and stuff, or the effects. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this, this <laughs> blood splatter right here. And I'm going to set the dimensions on this to multiply, which makes it lay over the the actual thing and uh, that's that's a good size that I want it so I'm gonna hit enter and that's a new uh, new layer rasterize that then uh, now I can move this all over the place so a nice blood sweep across the side would be nice looking um, now I have this and I also if I hide that I can open up this too and this is another one that I I use this one a lot with my uh, with my photoshops and stuff this is a really nice blood splatter I set that to multiply too so it's like that and then um, rasterize it But I want to be able to like turn it and stuff. And I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I can't turn it. But that looks pretty good to me. Just having that coming up from the bottom there. And then now I go and I also copied this, which is the Wizard of Oz logo. Set that to multiply, bring that up to a decent size, and then I probably set that right there. So it says the Wizard of Oz, and then um, this is where I start doing my fonts and stuff. So I go and I get my text box. First I have to right click on this. What the heck? What just happened? Oh, okay. Here it is. Minimized for some reason. I don't know. Rasterize this. So this can be used. And then I set my text down here. And that is not the right font I want, but I'm going to be using that in a little bit. So I'm going to write horror underneath the Wizard of Oz. And... I usually I scroll through all of my fonts to see what's good for to write horror with. Um, start scrolling down here. I have Friday the Thirteenth font, but that's not really what I'm interested in using right now. This is pretty good. So. So I like that. So now I'm going to move it to where I want it to be. So that that's pretty good. Um, then I'm going to filter. Or no. View. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Layer, layer style. I like to do drop shadow. So as you can see right there, it's getting a bit of a shadow on it. It makes it a little more 3D looking. And um, so there's that. And then texture, you can add a texture, but it's like black, so it doesn't really show up on it. 
Um, So I usually just leave it like that, and then uh, hit OK. That looks pretty good. And then I go in with my text again, underneath, and I go up to my default that I use on every drawing video, and I just write drawing under it. So there is that. Kind of got to add a, got to add an S at the end of this because there are multiple drawings. So there is that. It's a little hard to see. And um, so I'll try and mess around with this a little bit, see if I can maneuver it. To where that that's a little more visible. That's not bad. Um, and then I have two more things that I do. So first, I go up here and I flatten the whole image. Wait, oh crap! Flatten the image so it's all one thing. And then I go up to layer, or no, filter, render, and I go to lens flare. And I put a little lens flare right in, in there. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. That looks pretty good, right by the ruby slipper. And then there's not much left I have to do. I go to filter. Lens correction. I go to custom right over here, and then vignette or vignette. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I just bring that down a little bit so that the edges are are dark like that. And hit OK. And then I save it, and that's basically what I do. So I save it to my desktop as a JPEG, highest quality, and yeah, that's, that's it. So here it is right here. This is the final uh, thumbnail. And that, that's basically what I do. And then I'll go to YouTube. Got to load up my browser. Okay, so we're here finally. I don't know what took that so long, but then I look up Wizard of Oz, and here it is Wizard of Oz Horror Drawings. I go to edit. And down here, when you're a YouTube partner, it'll say custom thumbnail right underneath. So you click on that. So it'll load. And then I go to desktop. And I choose this, which is the Wizard of Oz Horror Drawings. Um, I think my internet is slow just because of Photoshop because Photoshop takes a lot out of your computer but then as you can see that's right down there and you hit save changes and uh, yeah that that's I'm really proud of that I think that looks really good um, I'm glad I chose black because it, it, even in this small of a little box, you could tell that it says Wizard of Oz Horror Drawings. And then when you go back, or, hang on. 
And I go back to Wizard of Oz. It's right there. So, I don't know why my internet was so slow. Sorry that you had to wait for that. But anyway, that, that's how I make a custom thumbnail. And, yeah, that, that's basically it. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Fucus101 signing out.